This is just wrong on so many levels. It's about freedom of the media and the persecution of a journalist. It's about the US claims of extraterritoriality. It's about the bilateral relationship between Australia and the US, and the UK and the US, and the fact that the Australian government and the British government think their relationship with Washington is more important than the rule of law, more important than justice, more important than sticking up for our own citizens when they're in strife overseas. I call again on our Prime Minister to pick up the phone to the US President. He didn't do it with the previous US President, but he can do it now with the new US President. Joe Biden is very fond of our wonderful country and he has said as much publicly. He would pick up the phone, he would listen to an impassioned plea for common sense from our Prime Minister, but it hasn't happened yet because our Prime Minister is more concerned with our relationship with Washington then we're sticking up for an Australian citizen who did the right thing and is now bizarrely still in prison even though he won his case for the extradition. I mean, this is basically indefinite detention and that's a crime against humanity. That's against the Rome Statute. But what's our government doing about it? Nothing, absolutely nothing. This is so wrong on so many levels. It's about a year ago now that I visited Julian in Belmarsh with George Christensen. And I can speak with personal experience of what a dreadful place Belmarsh prison is. It's the last place to detain a journalist. It's the last place to detain someone who won their court case and should have been allowed to walk free. It's the last place to keep someone who is not a flight risk. His family's in London. He's hardly going to, uh, to flee. This is wrong on so many levels.